in this tutorial I will be doing eye detail. For eye detail, I think it's the, like the biggest part of the picture is the eye. I don't know why, it just, I just love adding detail to eyes and I'm going to show you the best things that you would add to an eye but adding detail onto it that would make it look really good. The first thing you really need to do is zoom in with your little zoom tool thing, whatever, and go to the dodge tool. With your dodge tool, get the get a good amount or good size of brush and change midtones to highlights. Then on the white of the eye, use the dodge tool. On both sides of on both whites of the eye. And then change it to shadows so that it brightens up the shadows on on one either side because one side always has a shadow and then mid tones so it changes both. And I haven't edited this picture before at all. I just got this from DeviantArt. So once you have that completed, for some reason a lot of photos lack eyeliner even though if you put like if you just like take it all on, it still lacks it. So, and some people don't put enough on, like they don't go all the way across. So, dodge, you change your dodge tool into a burn tool and burn under the eye. Not like burn fire, but like burn under the eye and go all the way around. And you want to get over the eyelashes and you also do want to get the eyelashes to bring out them also and you want to do a little bit under a little bit over especially over because it brings it that smoky feel and that really nice feel to it and then for around the iris, you want that dodged to get the shape of the eye. If it doesn't look like it's shaped enough, then just go around it again. I don't really like this picture because they, they blurred it too much. I don't know what they did to this picture. But, okay, so now let's zoom on screen that looks a lot better from this to nothing from nothing unedited from DeviantArt I don't know what they did to this to this now for color for the color it really depends on what the eye color is. If you like the color, then um, keep it that way. I don't think overlay. Let's see what overlay does. No. Change it to like a soft white. If you change, if you want it to be darker, if you want it to be lighter, go. Paint the eye with white and change it to soft white and I'll make it lighter. But in this case, I want to bring out the color, which means I want to make it bluer. And I'm, and after that, I want to make it like a turquoise. Even though it kind of looks like a turquoise already, I want it to be more green than blue. So once that's painted in, overlay, or 
goes off like depending on what you want. I'm gonna choose overlay because I love overlaying images. I don't know why. And then I'm going to a really light green on the inside and overlay it. And then I'm going to make another layer and use a really light blue and go just around. that to soft light and <clears throat> um, when okay so you see how the pupil isn't really that dark or whatever do not black it out and then just leave it that way because that it's so unnatural so just burn it it'll just make it darker and when you burn it, change it to shadows, because when you change it to shadows, it only burns the shadows, the darker points, and if you change it to highlights, it'll only darken the highlights, and if you change it to midtones, it does everything. So that is good enough detail, but not enough. More is better. Or better is more. Or whatever. I'm going to add some eyeshadow. You, When you add detail, add color to eyes, like eyeshadow, if you're adding eyeshadow to eyes, it needs to match the eye color. Obviously. It doesn't need to be the exact same color, but it needs to match. So, colors that would match with blue would be purple, blue, like any shade of blue, purple, green, not so much yellow, red if it's just right, pink, uh-uh, pink will not work. So, like, I'm going to do a dark violet. And I'm going on oh, that spoon yeah. with my new layer, and I'm going to cake this on. And I'm going to change it to. actually changing this to overlay because it brings out, it makes it look really awesome with how it has that white strip in the middle because soft light just like tints it for me. But I am going to go here and erase some of it that I got in her eyebrow. Actually, no soft light looks pretty good. And then erase some. Always erase if you always double check and just erase in the eye because you never know what you did to it. So this looks like it's really good, but I'm going to actually make it darker. Her under darker and burn her eyeshadow. And then you can burn it and lose your teeth. And just finish finishing touches basically. And also if you really want to bring it out, then I would suggest you do a little tweaking on some eyebrows.